welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so if you're new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever i push up a new video so students today in this particular video we are going to talk about two questions okay uh, the second one i think was asked in one of the cat exams if i'm not wrong it was a part of cat 2019 but i'm not that sure about it so yes and in this particular question was asked in one of the entrances and trust me 99% of the students got it wrong okay so here I will tell you where people made lot of mistakes and in the second one I realized that lot of students wasted a lot of time because they could not read the full question properly or they rather didn't read the full question okay that is what is the issue okay so let's start with the first question the first question is if a upon b plus c is equal to b upon c plus a is equal to c upon a plus b is equal to k then among the options which could be the value of k okay now i'm sure by now after reading this question most of you all have figured out the answer but i'm i'll tell you the answer is not none of these okay i'm sure you must be surprised but yes the answer is not none of these okay so let's see how you all have got to one point uh, sorry how how you all have got to the answer of 0.5 so as we know that in these things can be taken as what actually these are nothing but ratios so you can directly add them so we can say when you add so you have a plus b plus c upon b plus c a plus c and a plus b so here we will keep a plus b plus c as it is and in the denominator we are seeing we have two b's we have two a's and two c's we will take two outside and then we have a plus b plus c and i'm sure most of you all would have cancelled this and your answer is 1 upon 2 that is nothing but 0.5 but that is not the answer do you know why you could cancel a plus b plus c upon a plus b plus c there is a very simple basic mathematic concept which everybody knows but in this question most of the students forgot to apply so a plus b plus c can be cancelled only if it is not equal to 0 okay so here if it is not equal to 0 your answer was coming out to be 0.5 which was not a part of the first three options so most of the students clicked it d option okay but what if actually a plus b plus c would be zero if that was the case can i say b plus c would be minus a and then when you look at your first fraction can i say a upon minus a is equals to k because b plus c is equals to minus a so substituting that can i say k can be minus 1 and minus 1 is definitely a part of your option so here is your answer i'm sure you must have now understood that how the small nitty gritties of mathematics play important role while coming to these entrance exams okay so another thing students if you are liking the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also students when you hit the like button it is telling the youtube algorithm that this video can be beneficial for whoever is looking for questions related to mathematics so in a way you are helping someone around the globe so i think that is pretty cool right so do go ahead and hit the like button until it it becomes blue okay so now like i said this question i am still thinking it is coming it has come as the part of cat 2019 so let's start in a six digit number the sixth digit that is the rightmost is the sum of first three digits okay the fifth digit is the sum of first two digits 
the third digit is equal to the first digit the second digit is twice the first digit and the fourth digit is sum of fifth and sixth digit then find the value of the fourth digit okay so here let's assume that my six digit number is a b c d e and f and they have said that the six digit which is the least rightmost okay so f is equals to sum of first three digits so a plus b plus c okay then the fifth digit that is e is sum of first two digits so i can write it a plus b then the third digit is equal to first digit so i can say that c is equals to a because that is my third digit then what have they said the second digit is twice the first digit so i can say that b is equals to 2a okay and the fourth digit that is d is sum of fifth and sixth so e and f now you wanted to find the value of fourth digit now if you see everything can be written in terms of first digit okay so i can write f as nothing but a will be written as it is plus b is 2a plus c is again one single a so you have 4a and then e can be written as again a b will be written as 2a so you're getting 3a so your final answer is 4a plus 3a is equals to 7a i'm sure students you must be wondering what kind of mistakes students can get into while solving this kind of a question so here in the options they had actually given other options as well okay so instead of calculating for fourth digit people calculated for the last digit people calculated for the fifth digit that is just simply not being completely attentive while reading your question that is one thing i have seen lot of students are ending up losing marks on so that is one thing i think all of you all should do is first thing when you read the question you pay full attention to the question and since over here while i was explaining i chose to read the question first and then i gave you the explanation but when you are solving the best thing would be you will just make small small tiny tiny notes of whatever the data is given in your question also another point you have to remember is that when you make these kind of notes you make it in such a way that first thing it is completely readable to you at least don't make it in such a way that you are only not able to read it first thing and the second thing while making these notes you have to ensure that you are covering all the data given in the question please do not make the mistake of missing out of even one single thing this is one trick which i always apply in my logical reasoning session of section of cat okay whenever i teach all these students and in logical reasoning as you all must be knowing that we have like big big questions which has too much of data so if that is the problem when you have so much of data you tend to miss out on certain detailing okay so that is the time when you should write down which you think that okay this is pretty important and which will be useful and in cat and any of the other entrance exam i would recommend everyone to not miss even a single detail of your question okay so i hope this thing is pretty much clear and from now on you all will never make the mistake of not reading your questions properly another thing students if you have any particular doubt in any concept of mathematics then please go ahead and put it in your comment section of this video i will try to make a video on that as well okay also students a lot of you all had asked me that if you want to refer a book which will help you to increase your speed of mathematics or rather increase your speed of calculations then i would like to recommend a book which is known as vedic maths for all ages the link of that book has been mentioned in the description if you think you want to do that then that would really be a great help okay but 
trust me nothing in mathematics will be helpful unless and until you give it a lot of practice so even all the tricks which i give in my videos and the tricks given in the book all of this will be beneficial only after you give enough amount of practice i hope i have made myself very very clear on that part okay so yeah that's it for this video don't forget to like to this give a like to this video and share these videos with whomever you think this might be very very helpful okay so i'll see you in the next one thank you